busting my balls, Billy, okay? I can already tell that I don't like you. The fuck you bust on my balls? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It might be your first ball job. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm uh, I'm your host, Eric Pinnell. I'm with uh, Billy D'Angelo. Huh? Yeah, yeah, About yeah. About time, What's dude. Good, man. I told this guy, good. like, like, dude. I tell comics, I got to get them before they're uh, they're too funny and too big, man. Because then I ain't gonna get them on my damn podcast, man. <laughs> man, you know I'm always going. I got to support black business, man. This black you, business. Black ass. I got to support black business. Is that true? That's a, dude. I've never heard that before. That's the best. <laughs> black ass. You know what I mean? Bill, so, Bill, man, uh, so, so what's up, man? It's, so you said, like, you say you're African, but, like, what, like, what, what do you mean? Like, like, when you say you're African, like, were you born in Africa? No, nah, man, I was born here, man, but both my parents, they they migrated here when, in, the, in the 80s, man. So your parents got the accent and everything, accent, huh? Accent everything. My mom's what been country? What country are they from? Cameroon, West Africa. You you ever go visit? Yeah, I used to go. Back. I used to go visit when I when I was younger. So I, I was I was a troublemaker, man. So my mom. You were like, a troublemaker, God, man. Cause dude, you're such like because uh, people that that, that that don't know Billy, man. He's he's such a great comic. He's such a great businessman. Yeah. Like uh, you know, he's he's a, he's a good man and he's very funny. Like you don't you don't seem like a fuck up, dude. Not no more. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody goes to me. My dad left when I was young, so it's like, yo, I mean, my mom raising me. I was just hanging around the wrong people, man. What ages was that? What ages was that? Uh, I would say from like. Seven, eight to like seventeen, and then so no shit for like ten years. You were like hell on wheels. Yeah, hell on wheels, man. I drove my mom crazy. Single parent trying to raise two kids. Yeah, drove her fucking insane. Can I curse on this? Yeah, of course, okay, I man. Know. I know. I didn't know if your mom would be. No, nah, fuck. My mom ain't listening to this, listen man. I know she's black too. You know, yeah, my mom is black. You know, <laughs> how'd you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she. But but, dude. Uh, so so you were like hell on wheels, and then about seventeen, like like a light bulb went light off, bulb. and you. Just, it was like a lot of people around me. They just kept trying to talk to me. They was like, "Yo, man, you you're too bright for this. Like you're too. What are you?" And doing? that sunk in. Yeah, it sunk, eventually it did. Because dude, I try to talk to young guys all the time, man. I do ride share yeah. on the side because it fucking works well with comedy. And uh, like sometimes when I get like knucklehead young dudes in my car, I try to like sprinkle them with a little bit because I know I'm yeah. a fucking complete stranger, or, like young kids that I mm-hmm. see and stuff. And I don't feel like they're listening. It just takes. And the I right try, deal, I try man. to expire. You know, yeah. I try to like say it the right way and. Get give him the right thing and try to talk to him like a man but you're saying so people were talking to you and it over got and through to you yeah, eventually it got through man it was just select, Thank God. select few teachers and yeah I, to this day like I, I actually try to find my teachers online and i can't really I can't find them really yeah, can't find them I, I i really want to like to go back and tell them, like yo y'all made me who i am today yeah you know what i'm saying that's Cla- crazy cl- man class clown type bullshit you oh know i was always mean? a class clown yeah i was always like funny like to my friends and like dude we used to yeah. just play the dozen all day i think i went to school just to make fun of people i did like too. we used to do that just sit in the yeah. back we'd sit in the back and just kind of whisper making fun of people oh, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that just yeah. every class you had like either the same dudes or different you know different dudes that you were just that, that's that was you just the thing roasted. i know you know it's crazy it was so fun man i wish i would have started doing comedy straight from high school straight from high school bro seriously because i was at my amazing. silliest and if i would have known like boom just go th- who fuck i mean who knows shit, i mean i wish we did podcasts straight from high school we i know fuck, we invented this shit i know <laughs> i know yeah but but so, so that's what you guys used to do you guys used to just play the dozen all Dozens day roast. You know what? Every time we make fun of kids, uh-huh. my teachers will always tell me, they'd be like, you know what, Billy? One day you're going to have a kid. And you're out here making fun of other people's kids. Yeah. And you will have a kid. And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. What's yeah. wrong with you? Don't tell me if I'm going to have some goddamn kids. I don't even like, yeah. you know, if I like girl shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you have a kid. I, I, had a, I got a one year old now. Yeah. You got and a little one girl, though. Girl, right? I, I, nigga, I earned a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> earned. That's what they say, right? <laughs> like, like if you're if you're like like either like a womanizer or like you give your mom problems and stuff like that. That that's what you're gonna get. I oh, hope not, dude. Because I'm trying to get my wife pregnant right now, man. I got a son. My son's 23. He'll be 24 in November. But that was with a high school sweetheart, man. Yeah. And uh, I was with her from like 15 to 22. And we raised our son. Now I've been married for six years, man. And uh, my my wife is younger than uh nice. than me so and she never had any kids we're about to try we're trying to get in the baby business you should man you yeah should, man. no it's, it's gonna happen dude nah, it's a blessing it's gonna happen yeah. but i always wonder like i still can't believe your age bro like i know man, you look so goddamn young well wow, dude it, i'm stop <laughs> yeah but you know what though dude but every every so many days you look in the mirror and you go oh shit, shit another wrinkle. yeah i'm turning it wrinkle you like your yeah. face and shit you know you catch me on a bad day like if i eat drink eat too much salt you're, you're mm-hmm. like all bloated and shit and stuff yeah. and i'm like oh <laughs> fuck no yeah, nah. dude i was looking at i was looking <laughs> at a mirror I was looking in a mirror a couple weeks ago, and I was thinking like, I can't believe my wife's fucking me still because I don't like if she was starting to look like how my body's starting to like. I gotta, I gotta straighten it up, man. Yeah. Because like I try to like my wife. I tr- this sounds mean, dude, but I try yeah. to hold her to a standard. Like I don't ever say anything to her. My wife will bring up stuff where she'd be like, I think I'm looking, and I'm like, Nah, you're you're okay, but you know we just gotta watch it. Like I always say, we gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah, we stuff. gotta, yeah, we gotta. But dude, it. I gotta watch it. Like because I, I don't want to get sloppy. Because I feel like when couples get like if you like when couples get sloppy, like one gets sloppy, the other one gets sloppy because they go fuck y
you like that, you gonna fuck, fuck me, me like, like that. this. Yeah, right. That definitely how it is, man. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 a lot of times, man, I don't know how to uh, tell a girl that I'm dating to lose weight, man. Because you're like, fit. You're fit like a motherfucker. Try, I mean, man. I no, this I wake dude. Up early as shit, getting into the gym. I try to eat right. I juice. you eat right. I eat right. What's bro. that mean when you eat right? Like for breakfast? I don't, like, I don't eat you carbs, have? man. I don't have breakfast. I intermittent fast, so I don't eat till two o'clock. Two fucking yep. o'clock. Yeah, trust me, this shit. You don't get rough. like lightheaded and shit like that. Because I mean, at first, at first you yeah, do. Your body adapts to the to the switch. So okay, so if you eat at two p.m., when's the last time you eat in the day? Ten eleven. Okay, so yeah. you're eating late and then you're going to bed. Yeah, yep. I but what are you eating bed. at ten eleven? Like I'm eating some, like double stuff Oreos and nah, shit nah, like nah, that nah, and going nah, to some bed. Light, like, some light shit. Really? Like yeah. what? Like what is it? Uh, I'll make some eggs and some you know. You're eating oatmeal. fucking eggs at eleven o'clock at yeah, night. Bro, I cook, man. I like omelet. I'm talking about like a loaded omelet, yeah. steak and eggs and all that. And shit. And you're I working just, out every day? Not every day, man. Maybe four or five times a week. Yeah, because yeah, you got fucking arms on you, dude. Like, man. like not not to look you up and down, dude. But this guy has yeah, fucking. Tried, I mean, dude, you I'm built not, like a running back, man. I'm not, I'm not that short, man. It's only way I can get chicks. I'm yeah, not that tall. Yeah, it's only way I get chicks. I ain't that tall. You, you, did you yeah, notice that when? Because like, when did you start putting muscles on? Uh, high high school. I started when you started bit. putting muscles on. Did you notice like like chicks were checking you a little yes. harder? Because See, okay, these okay, fucking women, every dude. every you understand everybody hit a growth spurt. Yeah, I didn't. I was. Ninth yeah. grade, I was a tall dude. Yeah, you look. Everybody, yeah. I'm five eight. Yeah, everybody was five. Tay Diggs two. looking motherfucker yes. walking around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. What I'm yeah. Saying? So next thing I know, summer hits. Everybody hits six one six two. Yeah, and I'm still five eight. I'm like, okay, shit. I yeah. was talking to y'all, so I know I'm be six eight. Yeah. <laughs> Never and it grew. never fucking never grew. happened. I've been the same height since I was fifteen. So then, once you started like realizing, like, okay, let me put a little fitness, fitness on me and shit like that, you mm-hmm. started noticing the ladies were coming yeah. around. Yep, it's fucking. It's it's, it's, it's so yeah. ridiculous, dude. That 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 you know. Yeah. That everybody thinks women are just angels, and it's like, yeah, they're angels, but they're looking for things too, man. We're they're looking for the same thing. We look for the same thing. Fit women. Yeah. Around. There's nothing wrong with a little chub around. You yeah. Know, you still want the woman who's. How about it though? Like 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 with you? Do you uh? So when you're looking at women, it, it, like, do you go for like thicker chicks? Do you go for like skinny chicks? Do you go for like fitness chicks? Like since you're a fitness guy, does she have to look like a fucking CrossFit she woman? Just, she, nah, man. She just has to have an ass. She has to have ass, she huh? She just, oh my God, I'm a yeah. fucking sucker for a booty, man. Really? And you know what? I was dating this chick and she's like, she said, this is the same way I'm a sucker for arms. She's like, you can have a, she said, I would date a guy with a gut. I would date a guy with anything. She's like, you just have to have arms. What the fuck That's is it. the arms thing? I don't know. I guess it's like it's a, a security, security thing. thing. A security thing, yeah, right? Where it looks like I'll fucking, I'll, I'll sick him on you. Yeah. Like wow. Sucks, you know, so like it's always the ass. My wife got me with her ass, dude. She got me with an ass pick. Yeah. I see. It was back in the day when it was it was still MySpace, and she had an ass pick. Like she was literally from behind doing the whole like looking yeah, over I her shoulder it. pick. Yeah, I go, yeah. oh shit, she done got me. And dude, I was always like a like like asses were always like I was like tits ass. It was like tits ass always yeah. for me though. But I, I wonder what but I if you get it. But if you get a good ass, that that that's what dude, that, that's yeah. the problem is though. Ass, a lot man. of people don't come across the good ass, and when you get a good ass, that that that, 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 that that fucks up the rankings. Yeah, you keep right? that shit, man. Yeah, love me. Now. I want. I wonder what our parents were into. Like, was my mom saying? What, what, what she had the like the Polaroid, you know, the little. Uh, I know. When you take the picture, the booty shot, and then you gotta you know shake it up in the air. They were dude. What were they doing? They were into tits. And they, and they were into furry pussy, dude. I remember those. I, I'm 43, furry? dude. I remember those ah, fucking right, yeah, nudie there. magazines, man. Those there. nudie magazines were like hairy pussies and uh, and pancake titties. They Can't had do, pancake I, titties. Fennell loves the cock, dude. Fennell, oh, you think I love the cock? <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> I'd rather a death sentence than, like, if, 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 seriously. Hell yeah. Oh, you, you know my joke. In, if I was in prison, I'd just say, kill me. Kill me. Kill I me. Hate myself. Curb me right First now. Day, Put my mean, mouth on the curb and you snap ain't it. You're about to turn me beyond saying this motherfucker. <laughs> so, so, I, so that's because you're younger, dude. You don't like Harry Pussy because you, you grew up in the generation where they were doing landing strips at first and yeah. then they were, like, shaving and stuff like it was that. Bit by bit. Yeah, cause and I grew up, dude. I, I was born in '75, man. I was an '80s kid, so all the '80s porno I looked at. That's what. There has to be something to that. There has to be something to when when you discover pussy, and and at a certain age that you go, yep, that's what I'm into right there. That has to be with a lot of things. Yeah. We're like we're like if, if like a young person at a certain age comes across some kind of sexual act that they realize like that's kind of like what they want in their game. Yep. They see that somehow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's yeah. like you, you know what people don't do anymore. The, the, this the, like I'm old school. They don't 69 no more. Motherfuckers don't 69. Yeah, because a lot of times these, these chicks don't want to reciprocate, man. You know, I, I, I yeah. dated a couple girls and say they don't, Is that they true? don't go down. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck you don't go down? Because you're, you're, you're still single, right? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, you know. I'm, That's true. I'm, they don't want, they don't want to, yeah. they don't want to. paying citizen. Dude, they don't want to pay back. I don't understand that. <laughs> they want to pay back, man. Dude, that's, uh, in, man. Well, that's a greedy chick right there. Yep. So mm-hmm. you're saying that that,
mm-hmm. like where it's like uh, like like if you're buying like a car and it has like a bunch of bells and whistles, that's part of the bells and whistles. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like like this guy drives a fucking Tesla. First of <laughs> all, only only there, there's there's two assholes in the in the comedy scene that drives Teslas, and they're both in this room right now. I don't know how. Like, dude. Oh, like, don't you feel like 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 when you first started driving a Tesla? I, and I said this last week when I seen you on stage, but I thought of this because of you. Yeah. But because because I, I knew we were going to do a podcast, and I was thinking about you and you had, and I was like, what am I going to talk to this dude about? And I was like, this guy's got a Tesla. When you got a Tesla, like I, like when I think about a Tesla, I just think it's instant pussy. Like you just have pussy like raining on the windshield of your car <laughs> as soon as you got it. Is is, is that? It, it, it depends. It depends on the type of woman you want. Well, because dude, yeah. you're you're gonna meet. I mean, dude, I pull up like I'm married, but if I pull up in a Mazda three, that's some real average shit. But when you pull up in a Tesla. Yeah, especially now, valet. like people have them, but not everybody not has everybody. them. They're coming, they're coming very up, expensive. Yeah. Well, people will get the little really one. Not. They're not. You got to get them used, man. You get them new, yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, you did, get them used, dude, man. Did that you big. see that? Uh, did you see that guy? Did you ever listen to Joe Rogan? Yeah, yeah. Joe did, Rogan did you see that episode that he had that dude on there? That, uh, Elon Musk? that nope. He got a yeah that one too. But mm-hmm. he got he had a dude on there that's famous on YouTube. He has like a real popular page right now. But uh, this dude on YouTube bought a used Tesla that had water damage, mm-hmm. and he wanted to he fixed it up. Black dude. Yep. Yep, I remember that yep, motherfucker, remember. man. Smart as shit. But dude, for that dude, like Tesla doesn't come that way. Teslas are expensive as shit. Like even yeah, even use their their. Exp- have you had it? Have you had it break yet? Have you had any like service? Like how, how like, much I is mean, that? You got to get the normal service. You know, wear and tear, like tires break, stuff like that. You know? How is that thing when you drive it? Is it feel? They, the, they, they cover all that stuff. Though. Would, would, you, would if, you buy another Tesla? Yes, I would. But but I would say. You have to have a garage. That's the only problem. Because you got you to charge in your garage. There's not enough charging stations. If they got more charging stations, then we wouldn't need it. Yeah. The only the closest charging station to here is Country Club Hills. That's the nearest. From, from here, we're at Riddle's Comedy Club right now, 111th and Cicero. So 167th. So you're, you're talking the nearest yeah. ones from 111th to 167th. Yep. I live in Madison. I live on That's two, yeah. fucked up, dude. So. I drive. To how do they determine who gets a charging station? Like, how do they decide? Like, oh yeah, we're gonna put one over here. I mean, does I guess Tesla it's just land space? You know, what really? I'm yeah, it's just like yo, we're gonna just put it here. We're gonna put one over here, one over here, and you know, you yeah. don't want to go there. Sometimes you go there, it's already full. Do you, you know? do you know when you uh, when you when you have a car and you see people that has your car? Do you notice a lot of motherfuckers having Teslas? Do you notice that, or you're like, no, yeah, I don't yeah. really see a lot of people. I, I st- I've started when I first bought it. I bought it uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh huh. So I was pretty much like the only. I there were not that many people, especially amongst my friends, my neighborhood. No one really had. It. How fast you got that thing up to, bro? One one thirty. One thirty. Yeah, it goes zero to sixty in three seconds because it doesn't have an engine, so its battery just phew, just takes off. That's fucking crazy. Zero to sixty three seconds. Zero, zero to th- <laughs> that's dude. Yeah, that is so ridiculously yeah. fast, man. Autopilot, all that shit. You ever have yeah, motherfuckers so. pull up beside you and want to race you and shit though? I'll be like, it's not a fair race. I'll dust you. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, because off the start, it's just <laughs> it's, like it's, yeah. From literally yeah. off the start, it takes off. You're done. You're done. Your car has to switch gears. Yeah, it has no gears. So you don't even like you don't even nope really <laughs> yep that's hilarious yeah. dude that's right off man yeah yeah but you did you notice that thing getting your pussy is that true man you know I ain't gonna put the thing on like no no but, but but do you, but do you <laughs> think like no it's mainly me uh, okay let me ask you this okay, you, you know I'll, I'll put it this way I was getting it before the Tesla yeah so I, I don't I don't wait know. what did you drive before a Tesla man shit right directly before I had a yeah Lexus it was truck. And yeah. then I had a kid. I had I have a daughter. Yeah. So I was driving to pick her up and see her too much. I was wasting too much in gas. Yeah. So I talked to a friend, and he was like, "Yo, why don't you just get a Tesla? I wanted to get a hybrid." He was like, "Nah, just get a Tesla, man." He's like, "That car fits you." Yeah. He's like it might be like maybe fifteen, twenty grand more, but trust me, it's good. You're gonna save that much money on gas. D- do you like like people you date and shit like that? Do they go, "Let me drive it"? Yeah, yeah, every single one of them. You let them drive it. No, unless I'm like I was about to say, talk, man, no, don't let no, motherfuckers no. drive your car, dude. Uh, I that, have to, like, you would hate them yeah. if they fuck it up. Fuck it up, it's done. That, that's the one thing about like having nice shit, and you mm-hmm. let somebody use it or something like that, because yeah. they're gonna treat it like it ain't their shit. Mm-hmm. People treat their shit like it ain't, it when it ain't shit. their shit, like shit. Yeah. Where it's just like, oh man, what the fuck, Break man? The shit, yeah. So okay, so so then, so then your parents come over here and stuff like that. Do you ever, you ever, uh, you ever go back to like Africa and like visit? Like you got yeah. cousins and shit over yeah, there. Yeah, I got tons. You still tons stay in touch with them? Yeah, once in a while I hit them because now they're all out here. But nothing. So I got, everyone's out here. Oh, now. really? Majority of people out here, man. Really? Yeah, majority of people. I mean, I, at the end of the day, America, Europe. Because I got a lot in Europe too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because like you'll do videos, you'll do. Because I remember when I first started seeing you doing like like social media videos and stuff like mm-hmm. that. 
and and you got this you do this African character. Where, yeah. where the fuck did that character come from, dude? Man, that, that African dude. Who is that dude? I don't even have a name for him yet, man. People, I, you people should get a name I, for that dude. I should, man. But once I put the name, there's no going back. But who is that? Is is that is that is a mixture? Is, is of all that my family that, like, that that's a mixture of like all your people family. and stuff yeah, that you came like across? Bar- yep, barbecue. Your drunk uncle. Your 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 cousins. Your this. You know what I'm saying? They all put together. Really? Yep. The overprotective dad. The the guy with the many the older man with the many chicks many wives that he right that bo- they all stress him out you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah all yeah, yeah. together man yeah mm-hmm. so so then w- w- when did you start doing comedy then dude so like I mean you've been doing I mean how many yeah. years has it been oh, now September be four years isn't that yeah, crazy September dude before time flies man fucking four flies, years man. dude yep. but dude you did you do you're doing comedy way different because ever since I met you which was probably three so four maybe years ago mm-hmm. when you first run like maybe your first year. Dude, you jumped out of the gates like like most people just kind of like come at it slow. They start doing a little open mic. Mm-hmm. Not your ass. You came out fucking your business end of it's already on point. <laughs> like you came at it like it was like fucking Kevin Hart or something, dude. Well, you know, How did, where did that come the from? The business aspect came from I'm in a fraternity. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm a Sigma, Phi Beta Sigma. Yeah. And uh, So you're smart. Uh, you're yeah, already so, a smart so I, guy. Yeah, and I, I handled business affairs with that fraternity. So I knew how to brand. I knew how to brand myself, cause dude. I to do you do you know how more like how much more important that is? Like yeah. like that's a large part of success in like comedy. A lot of yeah. motherfuckers never learn no, that. No, There's yeah. so many funny people, mm-hmm. you know, th- that that have been great great comics, but they don't know how to do shit in yeah. business, <laughs> including <laughs> including me, dude. It's just taken until like recently to go like, hey, you got to get on this, See, you got to yeah. get on that. I mean, this like, pod- just just like my skits, this yeah. podcast. What you're doing? I'm yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's just one thing. Like you <laughs> got to do like skits, like what you're doing, like doing like like social media type stuff like that you got to be doing stand up you mm-hmm. got to you got to you got to have so many things going rough, on yeah. and dude right out of the gates you were running it like a pro business dude and that yeah. was that was what was was like super respectful man Appreciate because it, first man. of all your, your comedy was on point when you would go like yeah i've been doing a year and a half i go a year and a fucking half <laughs> because first of all your stage presence is ridiculous like yeah. where that fuck where like confidence right i mean that's, that's well, one thing uh, even my profession you know the profession i do i do speeches anyway so yeah you know, doing speed. When I was in school, I did a lot of speeches. Who would have thought, dude, yeah, that you so were like, eventually you're going to be like a funny, funny yeah. stand up? Everything that I was doing in my whole life all added up to who it's I weird, am. It's weird, right? Yep. It is weird like weird. that. Everything added up. Yeah, because you came out with, like, you, you, dude, your you, confidence. A lot of motherfuckers, a year and a half in, they don't have that confidence. confidence no, don't. Because they're just like, you know, I mean, yeah. sometimes you'd see it pop up, but not consistently Same. like that. Another thing is you were, like, instantly almost, like, I feel like you're going out of town doing shows. Like, yeah. you're, dude, and all that came from that, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's amazing, dude. That's it, man. And just, I, I just keep grinding, man. You, That's the, it. Pe- pe- the more, the, I, it it's, it's one plus one equals two. Yeah. The more you grind, the better you're going to get. Period. It's like a gym. It's a muscle. That's the more it. you do it, the better you're gonna get. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. It's already been all your four years. You're already pushing hard with comedy. So, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna just stay around and just like conquer like Chicago, or do you ever feel like you're gonna have to move? I'm, like I'm definitely gonna have to move, man. Because you know when it comes to when it comes to the comedy thing, Chicago. The way I look at Chicago, Chicago's your boot camp. Yeah, it's your boot camp. It's definitely it's like that, right? It'll get you funny. It's a good. It's, it's a good right. town. It's a good town yeah, to develop man. and to develop, right? Because there's man, plenty any, enough any, going on. Any place I go to, man, you say you from Chicago. Like, yeah. When you tell the host, like, yeah, I know. The show the host. Oh, he's from Chicago. When he brings you up, yeah, they know you're funny. Yeah. You better bring it. But you better bring it you though. Better bring it because then those motherfuckers will look at you like yeah, you ain't really? shit. Yeah, because yeah. then they go, yeah, we got better shit in our town than that. Shit. He's not from Chicago, he's from Plainfield. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's not so, from the real shop. So, so when you were like a little dude, man, like who who are you liking? Like who is who is like your, like uh, like when you were like a little kid? Like man, say a teenager, who was your favorite comic? Man, I used to love Chris Rock, man. Mm-hmm. I used to love Chris Rock. Bigger and Blacker? Uh, bigger, all of them. I, yeah. yeah. He's probably one of the first that I, first that I actually saw stand up. Not, not Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Not all those other people. They came later. Yeah. First one, Chris Rock. Then I started seeing Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I started seeing, right now, my favorite is Tony Roberts, man. Tony Roberts. Man, I can't Dude. wait to share stage. I don't know why he's not bigger than Dude, him. Dude, so, so I lived in New York for a little bit, man. I lived there like a little over a year. And mm-hmm. uh, you're talking 05. And uh, Tony Roberts was at, sta- I think it was Stand Up New York. And it was like, I think it was like 79th and Broadway, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. Or 110th and Broadway, and uh, there was a Tony Roberts show. He was he was hosting, and I think I think Capone was on that show. Yeah, it sounds like that. that, that type I of group. don't I don't know if Rodman was on there. There was somebody else. There was like four oh. dudes on the show, and Tony Stapleton, I didn't know. Stapleton, Rob Stapleton, too. Yeah, he's on that group. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's who it, was that's on it. Also, yep, that's their circuit. That's their and group. It, dude, it was like it was like a. 
it was a work day. It was like a Thursday, or it was like uh, like a like a like a weekday. Yeah. And I went there by myself, and I watched. Uh, I didn't know uh, Tony Roberts was going to host, and he was hosting. And uh, he did like 20 minutes up top, and then he started bringing people up, and he went to the back bar. I went back there, introduced myself to him. I go, hey, man. Uh, I go, great stuff. Been a huge fan. Got a picture with him on a fucking disposable camera that I never <laughs> developed. I, I should get that developed. I forgot yeah, about man. that. I did that picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, I go, hey, man, I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you. You're great. And he goes, what? He goes, there's there's, uh, there's another, there's the show still. Like, there's a bunch of guys that are really funny on there. I go, dude, I came for you, and I fucking left. Because I was a huge fan of Tony Roberts, huge dude. Fan. Huge. People like, dude, he's, he's so a slept on, man. I don't understand it. He's I mean, like, but people know about him. Know about him. But he's like, he's like, he's like the Jada Kiss of the comedy world. You know yeah, he saying? is like a Jada he's Kiss. Like definitely like a Jada Kiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's a. I mean, dude. But he was. I just. I, but he. He's not starving though. No, no, no. He's eating. You know, he's like, yeah. he's like, uh, you know, no offense, but he's like Damon Williams. Like, you know, people know about Damon Williams. Yeah, you, he ain't starving. You making he's, five, he's, you making five hundred a year, seven hundred a year. Yeah, he's, not starving, he's, you know he's got a great life and he's yeah. a super success, man. Uh, Damon Williams, uh, Tony so, Roberts. I mean, but Tony, I know he's another guy that you think like, how isn't this motherfucker not huge? He's Dude, funny as shit. There's, there's a couple comics like that. Like, there's uh, like you ever fuck with uh, Tony Rock? Yeah, Tony Rock is a beast. I went to his show. In, I went to his show in uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the Improv Schomburg. Yeah, beast all off the dome. I, I opened for Tony twice, Almost man. No I, material. I, man. I opened for Tony at um, at the uh, God. What was Second City's comedy club that they had for a minute? Second City. Yeah, Second yeah, City. I know Second City. Well, they had they, a comedy club there. They had club their own there. comedy club, right? Yeah, they had a comedy. I opened for him there. There in uh, Sydney, his 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 buddy Sydney. I can't remember his last oh, name. He's goddamn fruit fly. I know, dude. I didn't even notice him. Like I don't. Yeah, I didn't even notice him. But uh, but yeah, and that's where I recognized, dude. I I was hosting for Tony there like years ago, like probably like five six years ago, and what at Second City. And dude, there's a fucking little kid in the audience with his family, like a, like an eight year old, mm. and. As soon as I notice him, like a couple minutes in, and I'm telling dirty jokes, I notice a little kid in there, and I, I start changing my act, cause you know, cause I'm like, oh, there's a fucking little kid in here. And then when I I, I bring up I bring up Tony, I bring up the feature, I bring up Tony, and dude, Tony, he goes, like two minutes in, he notices a little kid, he leans into it and just yeah. murders, yeah. like for like eight minutes on this little kid, and not <laughs> making him make, not making fun of the little kid, yeah, just yeah, like the fact and, the parents brought instead him of leaning him. away from it, yeah, like I did, like a little bitch boy. Tony leaned into it Got and to. fucking turned. But you dude, to, he's man. a beast. Tony, yeah. people, I think, because they think uh, he's he's Chris Rock's brother. Mm-hmm. That he's he's not that great. But people that know Tony Rock yeah. and know what the fuck he's capable of, yeah, he's, he's on show and everything. Like, dude, you know he's, on, he's, on, he's, he's a fucking thing. murderer. But yeah, so yeah. You're, so somebody like him and stuff like that. Right. So Tony Ro- or, uh, Roberts, you you love that guy, huh? Yeah, Tony Roberts. Who, so so. So Damon William, uh, who uh, else? Damon Wayans. Oh yeah, Out of all the Wayans. Dude, man. Damon, Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans is a fucking underrated juggernaut, dude. man. But people also know about him. Joe Rogan talks about Damon Wayans yeah. all the time because yeah. there was a time where yep. Damon Wayans was like the fucking. Out of all of them. He's, he's, down, he's, he's the one that 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 that's that flew his plane in a different direction. If yeah. he wanted to just be like the guy that was the the man, yep. dude, there were so many comics when I when I was when I was like uh, no. y- you know growing up and stuff, dude. It was always Eddie Murphy, and then it was I was uh, it was Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. I remember because I'm older than you, dude. What, yeah. what are you th- barely I'll be 33? Man, I'll be 33. So I'm 10 man. years older than you. So yeah. so I, but I remember Martin Lawrence. You so crazy was so fucking oh, funny to me, dude. Yep. When it when it came out, it was so fucking funny, and then. Then uh, obviously, like the King of Comedy and st- Kings of Comedy, I remember. Mm. I remember getting high as fuck on a midnight show and going to see the Kings of Comedy with my buddies, <laughs> and it was like the best, dude. Yep. But uh, but yeah, man, those guys were like my. Uh, do you ever you ever pay attention to like like uh, like eighties comics though? Like you ever messed with like George Carlin or anybody like that? Yeah, yeah I, I could see a couple of George Carlin, but I, I know that when you watch those type of co- comedy, mm-hmm. that type of comedy, that's not how comedy is now. It isn't. Yeah. So, so I'm watching for. Their stage presence. I'm watching for this, how they set up the jokes yeah. and all that type of stuff. Cause I watch a lot of comedy. Yeah. I would literally maybe one stand up a day. You know yeah. What I mean? or really? You're other. watching yeah. that much comedy I'm now, man. You're watching a lot. You have to watch at least one a day. Yeah. At really? Least, at least. You don't have to watch the whole set. Yeah. At least 10 minutes of it. You know what I'm saying? Dude. You, 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 don't, you don't understand. You're you're absorbing it. So when people see you on stage and they say, yo, he looks like George Carlin. He's kind of doing this and that. Everybody got it from someone. Yeah. No idea is original. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got it from somebody. You have to absorb and everybody, and that's how you find yourself yeah. on stage. 
you're what, gonna be like somebody. What do you think comedy is at right now? Do you do you think comedy is like uh, comedy so fucking is so fucking politically correct pussies? And I'm gonna tell you I why. Know. I know. I'll tell you exactly why. I'm glad you said that because yeah, some people, it is, man. dude. Uh, sometimes when you get people on podcasts, they go, ah, oh, you know, it's it is what it is and stuff like that. But it, uh, why? Why is it? Is it, so before, man? Comedy was for the bullies. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, comedians came up. They were class clowns. They were bullies. They were yeah. funny, right? Yeah. Now, in the direction it's going, mm-hmm. comedy is for the nerds, the people mm-hmm. who were bullied. So now they're becoming, t- you know, they're using yeah. their sense of humor and they're yeah. finding, uh, you know, they're finding a niche. They're finding their, you know, themselves within comedy. Yeah. So if I'm sitting in a crowd full of people who got picked on, yeah. And me being, let's say, people perceive me as a bully. I'm not, you know, but they perceive me as a bully. And I yeah. do a joke that's, you know, offensive. Yeah. They get mad at me because I remind them. You think that's some, what it is, huh? Yeah, man. Theoretically, yeah. Yeah, I, but they, they remind y- them you know what I'm hoping, man? I hope because I, I hope it. I hope it's swinging back to it's another. Pretty, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it is swing back because mm-hmm. it's like, look, I, I understand why people get politically correct because it's like, hey, this is getting out of control. People are getting a little loose lip with this. That's and that. not nice. That's, that's he not, said, not. Yeah, he said the f word that rhymes with maggot. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's that. Like, yeah. yeah, but I, I do believe like eventually it will swing back just yeah. because people get sick of that flavor though after a while that's all the flavor is man like where they'll be like this is what all the jokes are like i've always said that like uh like steve martin thought one of the reasons why his success was 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 because at the time everybody was doing fucking um vietnam jokes and when steve martin jumped on the scene it was it was it was silly as fuck yeah. And it was like a different flavor. Mm-hmm. And now it's all fucking Trump political jokes, jokes. Or, it's, or it's it's very like, you know, watch what you say and, and, and whatever like that. After a while, because, dude, it's not like those people that like like our type of shit has gone away. They're still there, man. Yep. They just eventually, th- that's too much, man. Mm-hmm. And then it swings back. Right back. But I don't mm-hmm. know, man. Hopefully, man. Hopefully it's like, you know, mortgages and shit like the housing market. I think it is, man. Yep. You right know, back. it's... But I don't know, mm-hmm. dude. I mean, there's people... You know, with like, like I get it. The Me Too thing had to happen, but uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know, man. Yeah. People, people flush you so quick now, man. Oh yeah. Like, dude, they'll flush you like that. If you get, if you step in any little piece of shit on the grass, they go, oh, you got shit on your shoe. You're out of here. You know what I'm here. saying? Where it's like, no, it's just like I just got the, the the toe part. Let me just go wash it off, and I'll get it out of the. They're like, no, you got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. See, now nowadays when you do an offensive joke, you got to structure it in a way where. Yeah. I'm complimenting you, and then I'm going to shit on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before, you couldn't just shit on homosexuals or gay people. Yeah. You couldn't just shit on black people. You couldn't just shit on women. You got to big Dude, up your it's, women. And then it's, you gotta, it's almost like like where like... You almost have to have in one hand like like a like a like a badge that says, "Hey, I'm with these people right here. All these people right here." Yeah. But with this other hand, I'm gonna make fun of them because yeah. you have to let them know that, like, look. And dude, also, it's a fucking joke. It's a joke, like, man. Like, and a lot of times, like, like people don't realize, like, a, well, I don't know, man. Like a lot of times, they don't realize, like, you're saying it. That's why you're saying it because it is. You're not supposed to be saying that. Yeah. Like that's inappropriate. That yeah. that's but but what's crazy is how you gotta explain that. Like you know that I know that a large percentage of people yeah. know that, but the fucking idiots i had a whole joke i don't even use it no more but i had a whole joke as a whole homosexual joke yeah you know what i'm saying yeah it, it was it was the joke at the time you know yeah that, you know you have a joke just for that moment dude i've had gay jokes yeah, all the time. yeah. It, it was just the, the joke went you know basically i was out you know with my we're pre-gaming with my gay friends you mm-hmm. know what i mean it's new year's eve and we're all you know pre-gaming and shit drinking mm-hmm. and then one of my gay friends said yo billy we gonna get you fucked up i, said, I remember that joke get the fuck out of here i just started chugging red bulls yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> like red right. bulls you ain't gonna get in this right bitch. yeah that's <laughs> you know a funny ass joke yeah though. but it, it was we're funny it was funny up. with us you know what i'm saying it was funny with us but i took it up north yeah and they didn't which they which folks that are listening they ain't from chicago yeah, the yeah, north yeah, side's where north we have we have a, like a, we have like boys town that's on yeah. the north side and stuff like that and the craziest thing is that the people who were offended weren't even gay. I know. That's I'm how like, it is. No, not even gay. Yeah, that's how it is, dude. It was like, you do like, that's hack. You shouldn't say that about homosexuals. That's I'm not like, a hack joke, dude. That's funny. That's funny as shit. That's For funny. The time, that you're, New that Year's you're... Eve. Everybody, New Year's Eve drinks gets fucked up, and I'm with my gay friend. I'm like, Are you nah, still you saying gay. that joke? Nah, man. Why? I, 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 should, I don't know. I felt, I don't know, man. It got me. Dude, <laughs> no, dude. You shouldn't retreat hey. on that, because that's a good ass joke, and then you're just going to have to, like, you're just going to have to. Like, like, you just either have to structure it where it's like, look, they know that you're down with this, but that's yeah. just the... Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That's that's ridiculous, mm. man. 
That's mm-hmm. a fun, but that's it though, right? Mm-hmm. But dude, I don't know, man. I I feel like you should like we should be leaning into it when people try. Because dude, another thing the is people are bitches, dude. Over. Like 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 when they want to push you back and push you back a little bit. And I feel yeah. like if you just push a little bit more back on yep. it, like most people back up. I feel like that, yep. but and also, dude, you're not a fucking homophobe. Like, nah, man, nah. you know, it, it, it's like it's like people that like like look, it, like they'll be like like if people go, you're a racist. It's like, no, I ain't a fucking racist. Don't fucking put me because I fucking say one little thing that doesn't. But that's what they want to do. They want to pin yeah. racist. They want to pin homophobe. They want to put xenophobe. Whatever the fucking Probably phobes mm-hmm. that they put on there, because most people don't want that shit. Most no. people go, no, 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 no. I just want to. But dude, we can't. Be, we you can't have that. You, it, it ain't. It ain't good for comedy, dude. It ain't. It ain't at all. It's, it's this. This is the last art form. Yeah. That allows us to express ourselves. First of all, also, it, it, it's 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 almost like where they go. Uh, okay, you're an artist. You paint. Okay, uh, but you can only paint with these colors. And you yeah, go, there's yeah. only like fucking four <laughs> colors. colors. Yeah. Black, and what about all white, those other fucking brown. colors that I <laughs> that I originally got inspired to do? And yeah. they go, no, you can only paint with these four. And it's uh, like, man, the gay fuck colors. You. The gay colors, man. Gay people got good colors, man. Yeah, so they do got the good colors, man. <laughs> That's a good ass joke, course, man. I can't believe you fucking. Yeah, yeah. But I get it, man. I dude, I used to have like when I first started, dude. I had some like gay jokes, man. It was, mm. But they weren't good. They were like, cause I get it, man. It, it's it's like it's like a lot a lot of folks, man. Like uh, they were getting poked fun of for a yeah. lot of years, and now they don't want to hear it. Yeah. But but dude, if if we're if, look if if everybody's equal, dude. And also, you make fun of people that you love, man. Yeah, that's another thing, is dude. Love. I don't, I don't make fun of people I hate. That's no the, one does. Right? That. Who the fuck is? No one does. But, that. but nowadays, I think that's where it's at because they're like, you know, the the alt right or the yeah. uh, or Republicans, and it's like everything like that's okay. Or whether it's lefties yeah. that you whatever like that, mm-hmm. that's okay because those are the things that that it's okay to make fun of. And there's other things where they go, no, nah, you can't make fun of these yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah, dude. Don't know. It, it, eventually, I, I'm, I'm but eventually, dude, way. it's going to swing back around. Yeah. It's gonna, and I'm not saying you're going to be able to say, like, F, F, uh, you know, F word jokes and stuff. That shit was yeah. going way too fucking far. Yeah. But eventually, it's going to swing back around where it's just like, look, man, we, we don't hate these people for making fun of them. It's just that that's what we do. No one is immune for, to a joke. That's it. Nobody's immune. Nobody should be immune Nobody to a joke. Should be immune. Every, dude, Good how I look at it, everybody is like, dude, also, everybody's going to get it. Like mm-hmm. everybody's get it. Like the dude, you know, and I know it's not popular to say, but like like dude, I, I don't have to hate I don't hate transgenders, but if a motherfucker looks a little goofy, and I'm not saying transgenders look goofy, but a yeah. motherfucker's dressed a little funny where it's like like yeah. look uh, that doesn't mean I ain't gonna make fun of this motherfucker. And I'm not saying all transgender, but if somebody like that shit ain't doesn't look right. That yeah. like and it could look right on somebody else, but on you it does it not look. Right. You're not pulling it off. Like if you're trying to look like a woman, that ain't that ain't <laughs> that, that, ain't that ain't you ain't it. pulling it off. And <laughs> you're gonna get it. Cause we but, don't dress like that no more. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm but you know what, dude? It's it's gonna it's just gonna take time, dude. Yeah. It's it's just gonna take time, dude. Because I, dude, I remember I remember 30 years ago, like even uh even like in most most communities, if if somebody was dressed like a woman and they're walking around, they're like, I'm transgender. Dude, most motherfuckers would. I'm not saying they're gonna beat him up, but they would have made fun of him and stuff. Yeah. Now it's very common where you see a transgender, you just go, Nah, it's all. They right. make fun of us because we dress like men. I know. Shit, there's gonna be a time when they're gonna be like, Look at you, look at you dressing like a man. What do you mean? Hold on. What do you mean? So now it's common. Like these new kids, they dye their hair. Yeah. They grow their hair long. Yeah. They put on, uh, what do you call it? Finger, the f- nail polish. Yeah. Wear skirts with tight pants. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's common. But you're so saying you, straight dudes are doing that? Yeah, straight dudes. You, there's going to be a time when you dress normal like how we do. Fuck We're going to be made fun of. I don't think so. Really? And then, and then I'm going to sit in the audience and I'm like, you're man shaming me. Yeah. Fuck you, your man shaming me. Wow, yeah. really? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like your man shaming that joke ain't funny. That's hack. I you know, dude. But what's <laughs> crazy is how like like being a traditional man ain't like that ain't popular. Like yeah, I don't yeah. understand that, dude. It's age, it's, they call it the age of androgyny. We're in the age of androgyny. Really? So, yep. So it's the you know androgyny, the Aquarius, you know, uh, very fluidity. So it's yeah. both mixed man and woman. So really? it, that's how it is. We don't even realize it, but we're in a whole new age. Really? Yep. Read right in the book, Book of Illumination. What the fuck did you just say, dude? <laughs> what are you talking about? I read in the book, man. I read a lot, man. I read a well, lot. Say that again, though. It's called the Book of Illumination. And what does it talk about? It talks about like uh, certain things in life happen for a reason, but we're not aware of it. The universe has its way of correcting itself and adding and taking out. Yeah. You know what I mean, we don't realize it. It's yeah. bigger than us. You have to understand, in the beginning, it was the Big Bang. Everything exploded, went all over the place. Yeah. Now everything's being put back together in specific times. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's why they always say, speak it into existence. 
it'll happen if you speak it into existence. So you, you can control what puzzle piece falls where. Mm. You know what I mean? Damn, Bill, you're trying to break my fucking head, man, dude. You, you know, know what I'm a simple saying, ass man, dude, you know, man. man. Listen, I talk like a Muslim. Yeah, <laughs> you try, yeah, right. Yeah. So B pies on Thursdays, man. So you're trying to break my fucking mind over there, dude. Yeah, man, it's Asian androgyny, man. It landed right, right when the age happened. That's when uh, LGBT, gay rights, marches, and this. Which yeah. is fine. It's perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's perfectly fine, but it was going to happen either way. You know, you know what, what, though, dude? I can't remember who I heard talking about this the other day. I was listening to some podcast, and, and dude, they said something that, I, that, I, that I'm kind of like, yeah, maybe it's like that. How they, how they think, like... Uh, like uh, humans have there's like for example there's like 20 different humans that there are like 20 different models yeah. and, and so, but then so you, and you can mix and match some of those models yeah. you know what i'm saying like where like they kind of come like this or they kind of come like that and i just think that's how humans are it just yep. you know i mean that's just how it is man i mean yeah. we all ain't the same we ain't supposed to be the fucking same but i had a question man what jokes do you stay away from uh, you know what, dude? There's not certain. I know you talk a lot about your family. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, man. You know what I stay away from for sure is like political shit. Like, I it does not make me laugh. You yeah. know, and although like there are things politically that piss me off, and I try not to talk about them because it's just going to piss people off and it's it, it's going to divide people. And and also like when I start like like getting into politics too much, personally I have to like step away from it and I have to almost like say get the fuck away from me, yeah. like get the fuck away from me. Like I, I'll vote and I I just want to kind of be like old man where I just like I yeah. I'll vote I'll vote and I'll I'll show up and I'll vote the way yeah. I want to vote, but I don't want to talk about it too much. I don't want to. I still got pamphlets from when Obama was there. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit doing here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So th that that, that stuff, pamphlets. that stuff that I like, I like, I don't want to talk about because, and also, I just think people talk about it too much, and it's not funny. I don't like it, you know. And also, I I just don't like I don't like political stuff. Yeah. And uh, dude, I just wish, honestly, dude, I wish I was a better writer, man. Who helps? Who helps you write? Like, who do you run them by and all that? I don't run them by hardly anybody Nobody, anymore. Just straight no. open mics. I used to run them by uh, uh, some friends. And I used to run them by like other comics, and then I would notice like some of the comics that I'd run them by that I see them starting to run like like running ideas like that, and I go, oh hell no, I'm not it's bringing that up to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm talking about, like friends, yeah. and not just like an open mic or anything like that. But uh, and then I would run them against my wife or something like yeah. that, you know, or girlfriends. I don't do that shit no more because you know one reason like I don't do that is because uh, bias. You feel like it's bias. Nah, you know what it is, man. I don't want to like tell them an idea and then they go i don't know blah blah, blah and then uh, then they talk me out of not even doing that idea well you should have done it anyway that, so then yeah. yeah so then i just now i've been doing this so long dude that i like i don't even i know what's funny that i think yeah. is funny to me and i'm just gonna run it and then people in audiences and open mic people they'll tell me if it's funny yeah. or not i had to take that one night i had to text you i was like D dude i don't know if you came up with this joke off the top yeah but i'm like you can't no, i joke. thought of that i thought yeah. of those jokes before that but and, and dude you know how it is man it's just you fucking think of it you, you, you throw as much shit against the wall and see what sticks yeah. and you try to put some confidence behind it but yeah. i'm always trying to get better as a writer because i need to you like i'm a dick and pussy guy like that's yeah. that like eventually yeah. i would like to not be a dick and pussy yeah. guy yeah. But I'm trashy. I grew up trashy. Yeah. And, you know, my mom, when she seen my comedy, like, years ago, she goes, why are you so dirty? I go, don't you see who we, we are? Oh, like, yeah. who I grew up around? Like, it yeah. was always... It comes natural. It, it, yeah. But, yeah. you know, but then also, I like, dude, always doing comedy, like, I would see people and I'd go, man. I mean, when I first started out, started out, maybe five years in, six years in, I'd go, man, I want, like, what that dude's doing. Like, I'd see, like, what you type stuff, like, what you would do or, or other comics would do. And I'd go, man, I want that. And then I just realized, like, no, that's what that that dude does and this is what i, I do, do. Yeah. you know what i'm saying you and i i can't i can't you, yeah. I can, like i could try to like write different stuff and i hope it comes in and i try to bring it into my game yeah. but but you know some people are better at slam dunking some people are better at like shooting three pointers some yep. people are just you know, running the point right, yep. and i just stick to trying to feel, like do what i do yeah. and, and don't i just try not to get the blues by not being that dude yeah. and dude honestly one thing about me now is uh like like before when I like a couple years in I was like a it's hard to say because I, I never say this shit but like yeah. I remember like couple years in I'd be like a jealous dude where you'd be right. like yeah like you know and a lot of comics have it in them but I, I mean not jealous like a little bitch yeah like it'd be like jealous like Man, that motherfucker I, got that, that or yeah, yeah. or that funny to him what fuck he got that, that type of shit yeah, but it yeah. wasn't like on an extra level it would yeah. just be like you you would see some shit and you'd be like that motherfucker like and, and, and that's about as far as the thought but then dude uh probably about I don't know, man. Four about four, five, six years ago, 
I, I just started just thinking about just do me. I get my head down yeah. and I just do me. Uh, and I remember the first time I saw you at the Garden Stripes, I'm like, that motherfucker's hilarious. Uh, thank you, man. That you didn't have to like say that. That mother. I told you, you know, we had a conversation and you talked about Vegas. You said you did something in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I was like, yo, and you, you were like, man, you hit a plateau and you just stopped. And you told me a whole story. And yeah. I'm like, bro. You got it. Because that's what, <laughs> yeah. that, that, so, so, yeah. So, I mean, long story short, dude, I, like, uh, you know, I, I quit a couple times, but yeah. I would only quit for a short amount of time. It wasn't yeah. like I quit and then I'd come back two years later. I mean, I'm talking like I'd quit and like three months later I'd get back okay. on the mic. Yeah, yeah. You know, or you like too. or like my day job would pick up. I'd get promoted at a day job that I, was, I used to be in the hotel business, so they would throw me some bullshit job and I'd, I'd, I'd you know give me a little bit more money and then you get in the position and you have to take on more responsibility and that would take my thoughts away from comedy and I'd, I so that would kind of like you know I'd still be doing it and stuff like that, but. Uh, but dude, even when, but I was miserable. Like when I would just not do comedy, I was miserable. And yeah. then also I realized, like, don't don't fucking quit. Like you gotta commit to it, man. Yeah, it's it's something that got like to, this man. stuff is not. There ain't no such thing as halfway crooks with the comedy thing, yeah. man. Like yeah, you could be a motherfucker that does comedy that like you know that they, I like just going out on Wednesdays and doing that place and that's all I want. But yeah. if you want more out of it, which I want more out of it, you gotta like be all, all in the it. fuck at least four or five times a week. Man. Yeah, that's it. Man. And thinking about it, thinking about it, and fucking you know like like constantly like like you're even when you're doing your day job if you got a day job or you're doing something else in the back. <laughs> your head there's a there's like comedy. a small comedy gear yeah, yeah, still yeah. you're trying to think of wow why is this funny i need to make Working. this a joke i need the third eye they call it have you using your third eye yeah yeah you got it's like man okay this is right this just happened right here how, how, how can i turn that that's to a joke? it i had a conversation with this person how can i turn that to a joke yeah my, my two friends had this happen how can i turn that to a joke you're using your third eye all the time yeah and the more you exercise it yeah the better you're right and that's part of the, that's part of the game you right. have to be plugged in and i know yeah. there's some motherfuckers out there that might not have to do that but I'm saying percentage wise, I would I yeah, assume yeah, yeah. you have to be plugged in. Yeah, some people and got it, man. I've some people do got it. Motherfuckers on stage. I know. 20, 20 minutes straight off the dome. Dude, why well, I just they listened just to uh, I've been I've been watching those Vlad TVs. You ever watch Vlad TV? All the time. All yeah. The time, dude, I just watched the Eddie Griffin one. Yeah, yeah. I watched that a long time ago. Yeah. Long ago. Yeah, I just watched the Eddie yeah. Griffin one and how how he said he went to a fucking uh, like a like a like a comedy club with his buddy and he asked the owner if they can get up there and do five yeah, minutes yeah. and he did like a fucking hour or something like that and he cr- like crushed yeah. and but they said he was too dirty and uh, but like guys like that were right out of the gates that was yeah, never me dude I've always been funny yeah. but it's always been hard it's always been hard for me. You know, like you, dude, you fucking jumped. That, that's that's why, like, when I noticed you, is is where like you're new. You were new into the game. Like, like when I first seen you mm-hmm. about a year and a half in, and the math does not add up. Like, it, yeah. it didn't add up because, mo- like I said, most people yeah. when they first start out, they do this progression thing where, like, yeah. you know, it takes them a while to get confidence. It takes yeah. them a while to get some jokes. Dude, you jumped the line. Like, <laughs> like a mother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you jumped Appreciate this, it, like man. no, in a good way, not yeah. in a negative way at all. But, but that's weird how you said all those, uh, you know, all the things that you did in your life that led up to that. What helps yeah. that is is what so helped you be, jump yeah. the line. The, the business aspect of everything. Like when when I throw the shows, I'm thinking about okay, how can we uh, maximize uh, margin? Yeah, how can we you know do this and how can we do that? Ticket sales. How how can we get the DJ security? Right. This is our budget. Yeah. You do not go over that budget. People just put up money and do this. I'm like, no, have a budget. Yeah. Do this. Oh, do you, you want to do a radio uh, promo? No. Why? Because no one listens to the radio. Yeah. Don't you find somebody from Chicago who has 500,000 followers? Pay him half of what you'd have paid on radio. Have him post your shit. Whoa. Do this. Do, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Use all, you have to use all your, your, you have to use your whole arsenal. Yeah. If you want to make, you know, it's very make smart, man. Business. Yeah. Because, cause you got to understand, we didn't go to school for this shit. Yeah. People are paying. Three four hundred dollars a week or a month on school for comedy. Yeah. So what we're doing right now, yes, we have to invest. We have to put money into it. But these are our these are our school fees. So instead of paying four five hundred dollars on a, a class, yeah, I'm paying four five hundred dollars on renting a, a venue. That's I'm right. paying this on that. You know what I'm saying? And then and then Dude. if I make my money back, that's fine. If I lo- if I make a loss, okay, I lost fifty bucks. Whatever. Yeah, but you learned yeah, something. I learned it too. something from it. Yeah. Do you, you ever yeah. you ever heard? Uh, you ever listen to Joe Coy on podcasts? Nah, nah, dude, you should. Nah, I know Joe Coy. You know, yeah, know dude, I, I'll uh, I'll send you a podcast that yeah. uh, that he explains what he did. And th- that motherfucker almost instantly once he started doing comedy, I think he said like one of his first comedy shows. He went to the comedy club. He he got on like a showcase or something like that. He brought like the whole fucking crowd. And then they paid him like twenty bucks, 
And then he just essentially realized, like, fuck this. I'm going to go rent out the local theater that he could rent out in Vegas because that's what that was yeah. his town. And he brought, I think eventually that's what he just started bringing all his people. people. Yep. And then on the tickets, that he, he said on the tickets, he knew like a guy that had a muffler shop. And he goes, hey, can I put your, your muffler shop on the other end, like on the back side of this or whatever like that? And uh, and you pay for the tickets. He did that. And he made spot. Yeah, I mean, smart, dude, man. I I'll send you that man. podcast. And whether that's you listen to it or not, it's a I great even, podcast. That. But that dude was a straight up hustle, hustle. But that's what that's what it sounds mm-hmm. like, man, what you're talking about. Yep. Uh-huh. I've, been, I've been grinding, man. I put my own money up. And Short like, amount of time, too. Amount Short time, amount of time. Yep. I remember our first show that we did, we were just tired of people. You asking people to book you or doing this and doing that. Sometimes they'll book you and they say, okay, you sell $20 a ticket. You keep half, I take half. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't put. Or you or they, you said, you sell these tickets and we're still going to pay you $20. Or we're still going to pay you 50 bucks. So mm-hmm. I'm bringing 70, 80 people, friends and family, mm-hmm. and I'm still getting paid the same. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. Doesn't that make doesn't, any damn sense. Doesn't make any sense. I might as well just rent this spot out myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. keep all the profit. Yeah, but again, most people don't think like that. Yeah. Most people you just think lose. like, yeah. 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 And, I, and I've taken L's. I've, I admit, I've taken L's, but I'm like, you know what? I'll take an L, so what? I didn't go to school for this. Yeah. So that's my school. That L was my school fees. It's hard figuring out that yeah. problem, man. Yep. Billy, uh, I, I just wanted to pop your cherry on here, man. We're, yeah, we're going to do other podcasts, man. Definitely, and man, uh, really, so, yeah, yeah. Where can they find you on social media, dude? Oh, uh, you can find me at on Facebook, Billy D'Angelo. That's B I L L Y D'Angelo, D I A N G E L O. Instagram is Dr. D'Angelo, Dr. D R underscore D'Angelo, D I A N G E L O. Sure, man. Childsupport.com. It's, uh, Wait a minute, childsupport.com. Billy O'Coffee. Yes, I only put my real name on him. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what's is that real childsupport.com? Not at all. Oh, okay. I was about to say, damn. That shit was available. <laughs> guys, Bustin' Balls Podcast on Instagram, Eric Pinot Comedy on Instagram. Thank you guys for listening, Billy. Appreciate yes, it, man. Sir. Thank you, sir.